course, Trump uh, really needs a little vacation right now because his poll numbers have reached a new low. Only 33% of voters approve of the job he's doing. 33%. As Meatloaf so famously said, two out of three ain't bad, <laughs> but one out of three sucks. <laughs> and that's a friend of his, right? Meatloaf, Meatloaf is a friend of his. Meatloaf is a friend. And with the president's approval ratings plummeting, some have their eyes on Trump's job, including current vice president and dad who has a favorite marching band, Mike Pence. <laughs> the New York Times is claiming that Pence is preparing for a 2020 run, citing the fact that Pence has created his own political action committee. That's not normal for a vice president to do that. In fact, Trump confidant and man calling to have you killed, Roger Stone, <laughs> Tweeted, no vice president in modern history had their own pack less than six months into the president's first term. Hmm. <laughs> yes, hmm. No Veep has acted this suspiciously since Grover Cleveland's vice president, Eustace P. McBackstabby. <laughs> Backstabby. Plus, McBackstabbies. Plus, in June, Mike Pence spoke at one of the most important yearly events for Iowa Republicans, Senator Joni Ernst's pig roast. <laughs> yes. The pig roast, very important, though it does alienate all the Jewish Republicans in Iowa. <laughs> no surprise, no surprise Pence is popular in Iowa, since Pence is one of the original children of the corn. <laughs> but... He looks good. He looks good. Wow. <laughs> but yesterday, Pence issued this strong denial. Today's article in the New York Times is disgraceful and offensive to me, my family, and our entire team. Whatever fake news may come our way, my entire team will continue to focus all our efforts to advance the president's agenda and see him re-elected in 2020. Any suggestion otherwise is both laughable and absurd. He's definitely running. <laughs> you don't... He's definitely... Definitely running. Without a doubt. He's probably running. Without a doubt. But... Trump's not worried. This morning he tweeted, the Trump base is far bigger and stronger than ever before, despite some phony fake news polling. Look at rallies in Penn, Iowa, Ohio, dot, 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 and West Virginia. The fact is the fake news Russian collusion story, record stock market, border security, military strength, jobs, dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 Supreme Court pick, economic enthusiasm, deregulation, and so much more have driven the Trump base even closer together. We'll never change. <laughs> we'll never change. Don't jinx yourself, Donald. You're reminding me of Custer's famous speech. This is the first of many successful stands. <laughs> and how did that end? How did that... I don't remember... And before he unplugged, before he went on vacation, Trump needed one last hit off the bong of his base. So he went to West Virginia to stir the populist pot. Most people know there were no Russians in our campaign. There never were. Have you seen any Russians in West Virginia or Ohio or Pennsylvania? Are there any Russians here tonight? Any Russians? Okay, no Russians. So, <laughs> Trump is officially replacing the CIA and the FBI with an informal show of hands. <laughs> Anybody gay here? Anybody gay? Anybody gay? No? No? Okay. Gay people don't exist. Mike Pence was right. And <laughs> Trump made it clear that this Trump rally was not about him. Since our election, not mine, since our election, we are working every single day to heed and honor the will of those millions and millions of voters 
that came out and voted for us. Not for me, they voted for us. Yes, they voted for us, okay? So us better lawyer up because we're in some deep doo-doo. <laughs> okay, all of us, us, us. Yeah.